喜欢。最近家门口怎么突然这么热闹？你还不知道吗？我们展馆已经开张了。难怪了，休闲了三年，终于热闹起来了。明天可得早起营业，快点睡吧。嗯嗯，晚安。Hello everyone, today we are visiting the China National Arts and Crafts Museum and China Intangible Cultural Heritage Museum, which is the building right behind me. After three years of renovation, it was open to the public on February 6. The museum has a three-tiered structure. From the bottom, it consists a stone base, an open terrace, and at the top, a pavilion of hidden treasures, or Ge in Chinese. Decorated with intricate gratings, the upper box-shaped pavilion appears to be floating in the air, becoming its own piece of Chinese craftwork. Now let's go inside and have a closer look. As you can see, the exhibition is now open. It can be divided into seven sections, showcasing arts and crafts since 1949, Guqing, musical instruments and scores, Dunhuang murals, traditional Chinese opera, seal cutting, and Chinese New Year paintings. You can see over 1,200 items on display, covering an enormous time span and a wide range of skilled craftsmanship. This area is called Craftsmanship of a Great Nation. It's a key area of the entire exhibition. When looking around, we can see many intriguing items. For instance, this one is called Rice Vessel. At first sight, you may look at a hollowed out bow, but if we look closer, it's actually made of rice-shaped granules. We all know rice containers, but these are containers literally made of rice grains. The artisan, with this exquisite design, reshaped our perceptions. There is also a porcelain piece which looks like a fluffy pillow. Its furry appearance may trick you into believing it has a velvety touch, but actually, these soft-looking fluffs are made of porcelain, so be careful not to prick your hand. Some artworks choose to focus on current social topics. For example, this one is called Us. The artist manages to present a tension among the joint, and we are all very familiar with the concept of involution, or neijuan in Chinese. And this art piece is actually a concrete representation of that phenomenon. Is this German Shepherd a photograph or a painting? Actually, it's an embroidery work made of a myriad of stitches. Creating the eyes required over 10 shades of silk thread. And the thick fur of the Shepherd dog actually contains over 100 of different tones. So all these elements combine for a lively embroidery artwork. Till now, you must be curious about what are the key treasures of this museum's collection. And we are going to meet one of the guides of this institution. Hello, hi, Yuen. Hi, hi. Can you tell us about the museum's collection of the museum's collection and what is special to it? Okay, no problem. The museum's collection of the museum's collection are the museum's collection of the museum's collection, the museum's collection of the museum's collection, the museum's collection of the museum's collection, and the museum's collection of the museum's collection, the museum's collection of the museum's collection. This museum's collection of the museum's collection 这件翡翠花熏含香巨锐呢，高六十五厘米，它是一九八五年由北京仪器厂设计制作的。这件作品的原料呢，重两百七十四点四公斤。因为它原料类似长方形，绿翠多，所以呢，设计者在设计的时候将其设计为球形的花熏。这个球形花熏呢，由底足、中节、主身。盖和顶五个部分组成，以主身和盖组成的这个球体为中心，周围呢是以圆雕的龙，在盖、底足、中节三部分呢，还装饰了这种传统的朱雀、玄武、青龙、白虎的图案，同时呢还有唐代传统的这种繁草图案。值得一提的是，这件作品的这个掏唐工艺
，它就是从这个预料的这个球体中掏糖，把这个预料掏出来，然后呢。用料中套料，小料做大的手法，目的就是为了增加这个作品的高度。这就是我们这间韩香聚瑞的大致的特点。嗯，我近距离看，确实有非常多精美的细节，所以也非常推荐大家来亲身的观赏一下。嗯、对 ，Now comes to the end of our virtual tour. The inauguration exhibition will run through May 30th. If you are a culture lover or looking for a fun cultural experience. Make sure to pay a visit.